What a night it was, UFC 211 here at American Airlines Center in Dallas. Two titles were on the line, neither changed hands, and I think we can just start right off as we do our CoveringTheCage.com recap of UFC 211 with saying, I was wrong. That's it. I was wrong. And this is your chance because you said Joanna Jandacek would keep the title. I said Jessica Andrade would win. So rub it in. You were right. I had perfect picks. I am a better handicapper. And I have a second card, I've gone perfect this year. Impressive. So that was very good. <laughs> you had Joanna Jandacek. I had Jessica Andrade. And uh, you were right. Just a phenomenal performance uh, by Joanna Jandacek, showing why uh, she is the UFC Women's Strawweight Champion of the World. Five times she has defended it now, and she'll try to tie Ronda Rousey in that next fight, whoever it's against. We assume probably Rose Namajunas, but uh, we will find out uh, who she fights against in her next uh, challenge. In the main event, Stipe Miocic uh, keeps his title as well, avenges the loss to Junior Dos Santos, a quick knockout, and Stipe once again um, showed why he is so dominant. A first-round knockout, four fights in a row, he's knocked somebody out in the first round. I thought Junior came out with a great game plan with the leg kicks, and then Stipe just goes full berserker mode, uh, lands a beautiful punch that just crumbled Junior Dos Santos and all of his hopes uh, for becoming a champion again. I mean, it's going to be a long road back for Dos Santos to get another shot at this title, I think. And he did break down here at the uh, post-fight press conferences in tears a couple times. So obviously he was crushed and devastated by what happened. We got to see Yair Rodriguez take on Frankie Edgar. Was Yair ready for the big step up in competition? And the answer was no. And literally was the answer, Frankie Edgar, that put a stop to that. Um, what a performance by him. It was a, a throwback to uh, when he was a dominant champion in the lightweight division. Uh, he's just such a, a, a skilled veteran. He's so tough, and he really, really dominated the year, throwing him to the ground early, uh, grinding out the first round, and then doing it again in the second round, and doing so much damage to the year's face that basically the doctor had to come in and say, yeah, you can't fight anymore after the second round. Uh, I thought that was just a spectacular performance by Frankie. It definitely was. He big brother Yair from beginning to end. There was uh, moments there where I thought the scorecards were going to be full 10 eights for Frankie Edgar. Um, and I just think, like you said, it was a big step up for him, for Yair to take down a, such a challenge. Frankie Edgar has always been at the top. He's a fantastic at featherweight because it just fits him right now as far as getting to that weight and being so dominant in a weight class. Uh, I, I'd just like to see him again take on the winner of Max Holloway, Jose Aldo, I think that's what should be next for Frankie. And, uh, you know, not for nothing, I know this was way, way far-fetched and way far off from happening. I'd love to see him against Conor McGregor at some point. So uh, I think uh, Frankie did some big things for himself here, and he proves it once again, never count him out. A lot of, a lot of good memories from this UFC 211 card. You can check it all out uh, at CoveringTheCage.com. Uh, make sure you follow us along on Twitter, on Facebook, everywhere else, Covering the Cage, and myself, Adam Hill, LVRJ, at Heidi Fang as well. Uh, it is UFC 211 in the books. We're on to uh, other events, UFC 212 in Rio. Uh, so uh, that's about a month away. You mentioned the Holloway and uh, an Aldo fight. That'll be a good one. We'll see if that is what's next for Frankie Edgar, one of the stars of the night here. Uh, but make sure you check out everything that we have going on, CoveringTheCage.com. Heidi, thanks as always. Great work. Thank you. There we go. We will talk to you guys later Tuesday. Join us live on Facebook. Let us know if you have any questions, and we'll try to get those answered for you. Talk to you later.